Hi guys, this is RC from AppyPy and today we would be learning about the directory feature, how to use that. Now uh, I go into my app and add the page called directory here. So in the front end here, I simply have to give my directory a name. Alright, and some very interesting things that you have to do here is you have to enable the keyword search so that people can use a keyword to search for a particular name here and uh, you have to enable the location based search and you have to enable this particular one here which allows users to add listings. Now you could have the choice to uh, disable this because uh, you might have a directory that you want uh, users uh, to, to not be able to modify which means they will not be able to add anything there in terms of a listing. So if you want your users to be also able to add to your directory uh, much like a Google does with their images and their street view images so they give users the options to upload uh, maps for areas that have not been covered so far. Uh, now similarly on those lines if you want your users to be able to help you in adding to your directory listings then you should click on this here to enable them. So uh, once you've done that all you need to do is click on save and finish and go into the back end in my apps area. Alright, so when you come to your My Apps area and you go into your app for directory settings and there you see Manage Directory, okay? So here is where you can add categories to your directory. For example, there's already one added here. I can add another one and give it a name. And I can also decide whether I want these listings in the category to be alphabetically listed or not and whether the status for this category is active for now. I can also add a thumbnail here from one of the images. And create a category. There you go. Now you can even change uh, the position of these categories by click and drop. So, uh, so it's category 2 so I'll put it back but say tomorrow you want to change it back to its original position you can also do that. So it's very easy to play around with the positioning without having to actually go into each one of these. Now when you go into a category here uh, I can actually create subcategories by clicking on that one button and say add subcategory. I can say whatever uh, outlet A. Again whether I want it to be listed alphabetically, the status and a thumbnail. So, I would see a subcategory called Outlet Lay being created here and then I go into the listings to create the listings in that category by saying Add Listing. So for every listing I would be giving a heading a summary of anything that I want to say here in terms of a description I can also add media to this listing. I can add an email ID, I can add a URL for a website, I can add contact numbers where they can call back and an address and I can also address or I can also view this address on a map or I can launch this address in the device's native map application. So I can click on that and if I'm making a reservation then I can use that URL say if it is open table and put it here.
all right so that's the first listing there now uh, there are some additional things that I could do I could add an image here by clicking on it and go to the settings to edit it yeah or make it inactive or go to the media files by adding images here I can add an image here or I could also add a customized image by saying upload from my system and I can add some URLs from YouTube a video possibly and uh, an audio file that I want to put it could be a media RSS or radio stream or a customized URL of a track name that I want to put here so I can do all that to a listing I can delete it from here there you go so I can go back to create more listings or I can create more categories so here you see in uh, the first category I had created one subcategory and one listing so it all gets shown here and I can keep adding more categories and more subcategories to it and listings to it all right now uh, for directory we go into the general settings Now this new version of listing is basically a version wherein you get to see the images like you're seeing now. The earlier version of AppyPy uh, didn't allow for images so we just had listings one after the other without the images. So you can decide how you want the display to be done and currently it is by default on on. If you switch it off you will not see uh, the image. Okay. So the default image view right now is on and uh, you can actually switch it off so you see the default image just vanishes okay when I switch it on I see the default image if I switch it off I will not see the default image when I say I don't want the new listing in terms of images then the default image would automatically get switched on so I'll have to switch it off if I don't want that also so if I just want pure listings without images this is what the setting should look like wherein you have a new version listing switched off the default image switched off and no images getting displayed now if I don't want the new images then I simply switch this on for default images if I don't want the default images I switch this on for the new images as simple as that now the listings can also be shared on various media like any other sharing function you can switch it on or off and it will get reflected on your mobile device now there's also an inquiry form for every listing that you could uh, activate if you activate it uh, you can actually have a template for a form which the customers can fill in in case they have an inquiry regarding the listing now whenever they sending uh, send in this form uh, there will be an email notification to the listing owner now that can also be switched off by default it's on whenever you switch on the inquiry form so the minute I switch it off you see it vanishes which means every time a user has an inquiry an email would be sent to the listing owner saying that okay there's an inquiry please reply to it now another interesting feature is reviews uh, when you switch this off or on uh, you are basically enabling the review feature to be added when I switch it on by default I would I as a user would be able to add a review to that listing if I don't want users to add reviews I'll just switch it off now when this is on by default I also have an option to auto approve these reviews now uh, editors would want to review the content before they make it live so typically this should remain off uh, you should idly review the reviews that are coming in but a lot of the giants like Google and all and Amazon's uh, would uh, not do auto approve because there will be people who will be who will be writing malicious content so the idea is to filter it before you start making it live so you can switch it off or on here so it's your choice basically what you want to do all right similarly if you want a map to be displayed for your listing 
then you'll uh, have to switch it on here or you can switch it off and if you want people to be able to check in into that location that feature can also be given by giving them a button there to check in and if you do not wish to give them that luxury you can switch it off here safely all right Now, like every other directory feature wherein uh, you will have to manually add categories, subcategories and listings, uh, we have given you an option to upload a CSV file. So you can go to upload CSV file and download a sample CSV file to see uh, the various parameters that are needed for uploading one. Uh, and then select the data in terms of uh, what is needed here and upload it through saying upload CSV file. So there's also a tutorial, complete tutorial to help you with it. Now in general settings, there, there is also something called a language settings wherein uh, you can actually change all these texts to, uh, to say something else. So if it is please enter the open table URL, I can only say open table URL here and just make it that so I can save it to what I want. So I can actually change the way my app looks, what it says to my user. So OK can be yes, you know, and so on and so forth. I can make all the changes that I want and click on save to make them active. Alright, so that's so much about the directory feature. Thank you so much for watching.